Hi, it's the form filler here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for the NHS app. That includes setting up an NHS login. And I do this all within five minutes. Check out the description box below where I've put the direct links for the NHS app for both iPhone and Android. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think it will help anyone else out, please share it with them. And if you could, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe. Without further ado, here's the video. So we open the app for the first time. We're greeted with the NHS Access Your NHS Services page with a prompt to continue with NHS login. Setting up our NHS login on this first page, we provide our email address first, and then we click on continue. Then it prompts us if we want to set up a new account. So we click on continue, and then it lists the things that we need to provide in order to link our account with the NHS record on file. So again, we click on continue, and now we're prompted to create a password. We follow the guidelines on the screen. There has to be eight characters, has to have one uppercase letter or more, and not start or end with a blank space. So we type it in once and then we confirm it. And once that's done, we click on continue. And then we're prompted to check our email, and we can even see the email notification ping at the top of the screen. Standard security measure, where we enter a code that we are emailed into the app. So here's the email that we've found with the code inside of it. So we then copy the code and then we can paste it into the app. Next, we're prompted to enter a mobile number. Again, it's the same where we are texted a six digit security code. Again, we then copy and paste that code or manually type it in. So here I am adding my mobile number clicking continue, and then I'm prompted to check my mobile phone. And again, you can see the message notification pings at the top of the screen with my temporary code. And with this one, you have to enter the code within five minutes or less, otherwise it will expire. So again, typing or copying the number and pasting it in and clicking continue. And this next page asks us if we know our NHS number. Uh, you may know it, it could be on documentation provided by normally your uh, GP or could be on prescription medication uh, and you can click on the how to find your NHS number link there in blue if you want to find it. In this scenario we went without the number and instead we went with the option that said no continue with my full name. Then we click continue and here on this page we enter our full name. So use the same full name that you registered with your GP surgery. So your first middle names if you have any and then your last name. So here I am typing that in. No middle names. Last name and then clicking continue. And then next up, entering your date of birth. So it's day, month, year, all numerical. So we enter that information and then we click on continue. And then entering on the next screen, your postcode. So this is the postcode that the GP has on record for you. That's the key thing. So we enter the postcode and then we click on continue. So the next page is just a summary of the information that we've provided. So we will try and match you to your NHS record using the information you gave us. So it just reconfirms the things we gave. So our name, our date of birth, and our postcode. Once we're happy with the information that we've provided, there's no typos, for example, we then click on submit information. So there we have it. It's worked its magic. Confirm your details. We found this NHS record using the information you gave us. So again, just confirm the information that is prompted to you on this screen. So if we're happy with that, we then click on, are these your details? Yes, these are my details. And then we hit continue. As we can see, it now says registration complete. You can now access NHS app. And to access any areas of the service that contain your personal confidential information, you must prove who you are. And we can use the details from your GP surgery online services to prove who you are. So can we use your details? So in this instance, if we wanna move forward, we click on yes and continue. Terms and conditions are here. We scroll down, read them if you like. Then we click on the first box, I understand, terms of use. The second one is optional. So if you want a ticket, it's up to you. In this case, we don't. And the next page, we're asked about turning on notifications. So in this instance, we've clicked on yes, turn on notifications on this device, and then click on continue. This is your personal preference. We're using an iPhone, and it gives us the option to, to log in with Face ID. So here we are setting up Face ID. We click on set up Face ID, and you simply slide log in with Face ID. And there we have it, it's captured the face. And this is the home screen. So we can see our unread messages here in red, clicking on those, see some basic information, like a little welcome message and things we can do with this app. And things we can look at through the app is our COVID passes, our prescription history and, and uh, applying for repeat prescriptions. You'll receive it once you've signed up. You can read it in depth. So yeah, you can view and order your repeat prescriptions. You can book appointments to your GP surgery if they have that facility. We click on view a domestic COVID pass. 
in that screen, it comes up with all our information, and this can be used for venues uh, if they are still taking them to sh to prove vaccination status, for example, like pubs or clubs, restaurants, etc. And this is the information of the jabs taken and dates and tests, both negative and positive, will all pop up here on this screen. And followed by clicking on the travel pass as well for when you're, you're traveling if you need to show a pass for traveling let's especially on flights and there you go that's how you install the nhs app and create an nhs login all within five minutes hope that helped you and if it did please give it a like if you think it will benefit someone else why not consider sharing it with them and if you could please subscribe check out these other videos here for more handy tips thanks for watching